Everyone knows battle rifles are some of the hardest hitting guns in Warzone right now. And if you didn't, well, now you do. But in the conversation of time to kill, the SO14 reigns supreme. Now, between you and me, I know why you clicked on this video. You've been told the best way to use the SO14 is in single fire mode. But if you didn't know, it also has a full auto mode which is just absolute chaos. But while we're here in the range, let me show you the difference between single fire and full auto. And I just missed my shot. I'm going to headshot this guy twice in single fire. And that's a kill. And now I'm going to switch to full auto and try to just tap him twice in the head. As you can see, the damage is obviously higher on single fire because, you know, that makes sense. So three will kill. Obviously, single fire hits hard, but man, does it make your fingies hurt. And if we take a look at this fancy graph comparing the SO14 in single fire and in full auto, you can probably see something of importance, but none of this matters if it doesn't feel good on the field. So today we'll be playing two games, one using the SO14 single fire and the second one using it in full auto. And both times I'll be using the same build, which by the way, if you want it, here you go. Take a wild guess on what the SO stands for. Uh oh the shotgun just saved us there now single fire is nice if you're someone like me that can move their fingers fast because you know i used to play paintball get your mind out of the gutter but if you like to just sit back and relax while you play warzone that's kind of what this video is about everyone's been talking about how single fire is the meta but what if we like to just relax and spray also i don't know why they keep messing with solos obviously i'm here on ass chica island i was kind of getting used to having my fun exterminating all the rats of vondel but you know here we are and I just got absolutely beamed. By what? What is this? What is this? Please tell me what gun that was in the comments. The guy had way too much graffiti all over it. I do have my loadout still, so it doesn't matter. And I'm going to stop talking and start single tapping these nerds. And he's already shooting at me. Can't do that. Is he just going to wait for me there? That's a little toxic. Can I sneak this loadout? me some plates please they're fighting now i need to get in the mix and there's a mortar what are you doing buddy i will take all my stuff back good sir and we need to get out of here because the mortar is gonna heat seeking missile me like it always does oh he's coming back and that guy definitely was an afk i do have money and there's a fire sale maybe i buy a uav so we can just keep pushing people and testing this i feel like so far so good the only time i really died was when the guy had some shots on me first which is understandable but let's pop this uav buy another one we can't buy another one we will buy nothing else because i'm now poor someone was up here I feel like depending on what you play on, like for me, I'm playing on mouse and keyboard. It's hard to shoot fast in single fire and maintain good accuracy. You know, because obviously I don't have aim assist on mouse and key. But today we're just testing the damage in TTK, which we already know the damage of single fire is much higher for whatever reason. And that guy just got rolled hiding behind the rock. I think this might be the same rock that you guys are under if you didn't know battle rifles are OP. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I take it back. I love you so much. Now, as you can see, I'm using a red dot, which isn't really normal for most builds that people make of this gun. I see this guy. But the reason why I'm using red dot is because in full auto mode, it's kind of... Hold on. It's kind of hard to see where you're shooting. I mean, this thing just goes absolutely crazy in full auto. I'll show you real quick. So the red dot kind of helps with the visual recoil. And since I'm on mouse and key, it helps me aim better. That was an intellectual sentence. I'm sorry. I kind of just woke up. I also need to move. So we're going to push up towards this guy that's down below. No, he's under. I haven't played on a Sheikah since Vondel came out. And don't, don't do it, buddy. Someone's behind me too. You don't want this smoke buster. Oh, he almost got me. Maybe he did want the smoke. Thank God, too, because Resurgence is close. See, in a situation like that, I would have much rather had my full auto, but I don't know. Maybe my fingers don't move as fast as I thought. That guy can die because he used a heli to get that height, and I missed my shots. Just making sure there's no one behind me before I push up. This is a weird open area, and this building is very hot right here. We're in the top five already. 
Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna push into here with my shotgun because that's just kind of what I need to do. Surely someone's on the roof, right? There's a mortar going off up here. Just heard someone on metal. Surely someone's under here ratting in the tunnels, right? I have enough money for a UAV, but can I buy it and not get shot? And someone just put up a counter UAV the second I did that. Just my luck. Where's this counter, though? Oh, look! My loadout's a box this game. This guy's gonna be a rat. I can feel it. Oh, there he is. Come on. Nice. Two more people. Show yourself. There's no way this guy's still in the tunnels, right? I do have a durable. So I have a good chance of winning this if it just comes down to surviving the gas. And I have two stims and I have a munitions box. Surely one guy's on this hill. I'm lost. Not getting any high alert pings either. No one's like ratting somewhere. Are they both under? There's two people alive. And I think they're both under me. Oh, no. Hopefully this guy doesn't have high alert. Final circle. Is he going in? He's got to come out. He's sniping too. This is bad. Got him. Let's go. Last guy. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh! No. I got a shotgun this guy. I'm so sorry. No! Okay, we got second place, but it's probably best I didn't win that because whenever I win for the rest of the day, I have demon lobbies. So now we got to test full auto. Okay, I'm going to land farms, which I feel like is going to be extremely hectic, but I'm going to try to get my loadout as quickly as possible and get as many kills with the full auto SO14 in the beginning. It's my first game with it in semi-auto. I got a lot of kills without the gun. Uh-oh. There's a guy like right here. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm hacking. Oh my god, I'm hacking. As I was saying, my first game, I got way too many kills without the SO14. I was kind of just in the mix trying to get my load out. No, I ran into ammo. He did too. Oh my god. Papa. And he goes down because it's a Sheikah and there's always someone else. I'm going back to farms. I have to. I'm pretty sure the first game, I just cut out the entire beginning of the game because I wanted to get right into testing the single fire mode. But now that you're locked in, you're enjoying the content, you got your popcorn, we're going to show you everything. I almost have enough money for my loadout. So I just need a little bit more, please. Nice. Got it. I think there's a buy station here too. No, it was over here. Crap. And there's a counter up. I'm going to shoot this down, which is not smart because someone's definitely over there. Pop this. And there's a guy right here. Guy behind me too. Whoa! Oh my god, my aim right now is crazy. Oh, he just drop shot at me while I drop shot at him. <laughs> no, stop it! Tribal King. We both drop shot at each other. This guy's a demon. I'm going back because it looks like he's getting shot at and I need my vengeance. He is getting shot at. Come on. Oh, there's cluster mines in here. The drop shotter again. You deserve that, sir. And he had all my money. Perfect. We're going to go buy our loadout now. There's a most wanted over here. He's going to die to the cluster mines. He's hiding in here. He's already hurt. Nice. We got a loadout coming in, but I'm going to still buy one. Some weird like that. No, I'm just kidding. There's two guys here now. I don't know why when you kill someone with tempered, it doesn't drop the tempered, but you know, whatever. Cut. Oh, and we are in full auto mode and I have no ammo. There we go. Back to testing. Someone just dropped here. my god my aim right there was insane guy feels too far i'm gonna push up a little bit oh he's hurt we're going i can't see him where did he go 
Are you kidding me? He went all the way over there. Oh my God, I got him with the last bullet. Let's go. Again, we all know that the muzzle smoke thing is an issue, but the reason why I'm using the same build for both of these test games is because the full auto mode, I mean, it just kind of goes crazy. It's really hard to be accurate with it. In the close range, we did see on the graph that the time to kill is better. So I think it's set up to like 30 meters. The full auto mode will win. I'm assuming that's just because of the recoil issue. But you know, if you're playing Vondel or Ashika, a lot of your fights are close range. So most wanted. That guy was hurt. I just did damage to someone and I don't know how. I don't remember putting anything down for that. This guy wants his stuff back. This is a terrible building to be fighting in with an SO14. They do have to push out though. Someone's still looking at me. Someone just landed on me. Shredded, dude. Uh-oh. No. Oh my God. Why are there so many people? No, no. What are you doing? What is going on? Oh my God. How am I alive right now? I missed so many shots and I'm freaking out. My cheeks are so clenched. Guy up on the hill. I lost him. I don't like this. He jumped. No. Oh my God. Jackfruit with the ISO 45. This guy's got a beam on him. Oh yeah. I mean the ISO 45. Come on. I do have a loadout still. So we're going to land on this and there's a guy right there. Come on. We can win this. Someone just bought a loadout here too. That looked like a guy. I'm down a plate. This is a terrible push. Oh, there he is. I'm in single fire mode. Why does it do that? Beamed. Guy just landed right back on the buy station. Oh my God. I mean, dude, automatic just shreds. I know single fire does more damage, but come on. How can you argue with the science? Come on. Someone's looking at me. Stop it. Oh my. What? All right, let's try mounting. We haven't done that yet. Come on, dude. Peek. All right. If this hits, you have to subscribe. <clears throat> oh my God, the wall bangs too. Why is everyone using this gun in single fire? I mean, leave it to Sammy to ruin all the stats nerds days. Have we just not tried this in full auto mode? I mean, come on. Why are we using this in single fire? I can win this game. Gotta be smart. I got plates. I need to take care of this guy behind me first. All right, that was a tough shot. And he's looking at me now. Come on. Oh, this guy's going to hold me out of the gas. I don't have a gas mask. Someone was like right here. Okay. We're going to leave this guy alone for a second. There's two other people or there's one other person plus him. Oh, he's going to Kobe me. Come on. Give me a wall bang. Push up to cover. I'm running out of ammo. Last guy. What can we do here? How can we be smart? Maybe get up on the roof? Yeah, this is smart. I'm feeling smart. Oh my God, he's in the corner. Wall bang. What are you doing, red platypus? Yeah! Okay, let's just forget about the numbers for a second and let me tell you about the feel. For me, I'll take automatic every day of the week. I know some of you demons out there like the pop, 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 but for me being a relatively casual player, I like to just hold and spray. And honestly, that's okay. It's all personal preference. But as far as actually being on the field and enduring basically every situation I could encounter today, automatic is the way to go and the stats nerds can't tell me otherwise.